Have you ever wondered what a zookeeper's day is like? Well, we did too. So we traveled out here to the Elmwood Park Zoo in Norristown. This place has been around for over 90 years. So today we get to tag along with the zookeeper, maybe meet some animals and get put to work. Let's go inside. over to the bison exhibit and I'm going to meet with zookeeper Shelby True. Hi Shelby. Hi. Thanks so much for having us. No problem. Thanks for being here. I think everyone knows the term zookeeper, but I don't know that people generally know what you do every day. Can you kind of give me a timeline or a rundown of what your day looks like? So every day is filled with cleaning up after animals, feeding them, enriching their lives. Um, we do a lot of training here as well. So training them, all of our training that we do is to help the animals with veterinary procedures or anything that we need medically so that it's not stressful for them. Today we're working with the bison, so what do I need to know about the bison? So we have three bison here, we have three females, it's a mom and her two daughters. Oh. Yep, um, <laughs> they're big, they use the restroom a lot. Okay. And they eat a lot, so we're gonna go check it out. So I guess this is uh, our first job of the day, this cleaning is. up after the bison. Yep. And um, there's apparently a technique to it. It's easier for me if you're underneath, you get underneath of it, and then it's, it's gotta be quick. Yeah. So you won't get it. So it's just up. <laughs> you don't get, if you don't get under it at enough speed, you just throw poop everywhere. So I get like an A plus? Yes. Yes. I would give you an A plus. Yay. And A, you left a pile of it. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't think scooping up poop would be fun. It was kind of fun. I'm here now with Laura Fournier, the assistant curator here at Elmwood Park Zoo. And Laura, tell me, what does that mean when you say you're an assistant curator? That's a great question. So as an assistant curator, I work very closely with our curator who is in charge of our animal care department. Um, and we make decisions on um, how our animals are cared for, their welfare standards. What do you want your visitors to walk away with, you know, after having come spent the day here? I want them to have a good time, of course, but to have a greater appreciation for these amazing animals that we share our planet. Part of our training that we do with a lot of animals, the simplest thing we do is called target training. This tennis ball is a visual cue for our animals, so if we need to clean one part of their exhibit, we can use this target stick to ask them to move. Another thing that we do is an open mouth command for a lot of our animals. We can take a good look inside their mouth good. and we can see if there's any tooth issues. I'm going to try to get her to touch a part of her body or her nose to the tennis ball. Yes. And then we're going to reward her with a meatball. Bar. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at those claws. This is a little scary. <laughs> it can't be I am feeling really tense right now. Yeah. Now I'm here with zookeeper Caroline Gambrell, and this is Gerald. <laughs> they really have no space issues at all. Tell me what your day looks like. So first thing in the morning, we come in and we do live checks. So I come in and check out all my animals and make sure everything's okay. I clean up the outside exhibit, and then I put out some hay and alfalfa, which they love. The giraffe's hay feeder needs to be filled up every single day with a mixture of hay and alfalfa. So this is the alfalfa. And then in the afternoon, we do our training with these guys. He is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. He is very sweet. Now we're inside the giraffe holding where guess what I get to do? More poop scooping. <laughs> Caroline, tell me, you know, what do I have to do? Because I'm not going to lie, I was pretty good with the bison poop. Great. Basically, you take your rake and you do a lot of this. Do you just love what you do? I love it. It's the best job in the whole world. I can't imagine doing anything else. I get to feed a giraffe and I get to train a cougar. Even the bad days are pretty great. This was so fun. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> 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 
all slobbery. <laughs> I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.